If there's nothing else you guys get out of this video, I hope it's this. Welcome. E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is OGC here. Today, we have a new patch video coming at us. Uh, so we're going to check out what's going on in this new patch and also go over why this is one of my favorite patches of all time. So we do have a new patch coming out. It's patch 1.21.12. I think I said that right. <laughs> There's so many ones and twos. Thank God I'm not like super uh, uh, dyslexic. So on July 16th at 1 a.m. UTC, uh, the servers will be down for two hours. That's going to be two hours that I will be in bed early. So the reason why this uh, this patch I absolutely love is because it is quality of life changes that if you've been playing Art of Conquest for a while, you are going to be super happy about. all Not all, but a lot of those little annoying things that happen in game that you're like, why is this happening? Most of those are our resolves. So... First and foremost, we have Lifetime, Lifetime Patreon uh, now has private something that grants you access to the wish shops wherever you are. So now you don't have to run around the entire map going to the wish shops. Um, that's huge. I am so lazy with this. I no longer have to fight over wood shops. They just hand you potions. And sometimes I feel so lazy, I don't even want to run over and pick up the, those potions. Luckily for me, I have Lifetime Patreon. So that means I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to now get all of these potions without having to let out a giant sigh before doing so. The next change is the Witch Shop. So they're going to restock at noon and midnight UTC, which for me in the Eastern Coast is 8 p.m. slash 8 a.m. This is actually a really good time for me because I'll wait until 8.30 to go to bed, uh, Eastern time, p.m. Uh, and I wait for that time so I can get the restock of the shop before I go to bed. Uh, it can be annoying trying to do the witch shop at 4 a.m. in the morning when I wake up for work. So now, before I go to bed, I can just quickly open up my tabs, go to the private skill, and collect all those wonderful juicy potions. Uh, honestly, amazing. It benefits me. Hopefully, it doesn't harm you in whatever time zone you're in. Uh, next, we have the preset formations. So this is, after deploying your troops, you can now save your current formation to a preset formation. I don't know how many times I have been in the game, I've set up an amazing formation and I'm like, I want to keep this formation. And then I exit out and I try and make that preset and I just can't remember it. Or I take screenshots and it takes minutes, minutes of my life wasted having to go back and forth between pictures and the presets. So uh, honestly, I, I am very happy with this, uh, this uh, the, the preset formation. Now it, we can easily go and add them. So if we're experimenting with things and we find a better formation, we can easily swap it out or add it into our presets without having to worry about the hassles. Next, we have ability points. So the distribution of uh, hero ability points can now uh, be reset once every 24 hours at no cost. Thank you, Lilith. This is huge. So what this means is the skills for your heroes, it used to be a 48 hour cooldown in between resetting them. And if you wanted to skip that, it would cost 100 Lenari. I'm assuming it's still going to cost 100 Lenari if we don't want to wait the 24 hour cooldown. But 24 hours is so much more bearable than 48 hours. That means if you want to test something just for one day, you can now do it without pretty much giving up an entire week of that hero. Also, when we go into dual people and we uh, want to change our dragon, all of our gear will be swapped to whatever set we pick and all of our skills will be swapped to whatever skill set we pick, even if we're only changing the dragon. For me, my skills are all over the place, so give my if I give myself a couple weeks, I can now set it all up so that uh, everything works out very well and I can handle those situations for duels. Long story short, this is awesome. This is awesome. Next, the hospital queue capacity has been increased to 160 as opposed to the traditional 120, regardless of building level. 
The increase of recovery time speed gained by upgrading the hospital remains unchanged. I don't care about the recovery time. This is huge uh, for humans um, for many, many levels. You will not be able to benefit from massive revive because all of your units have such small um, uh, uh, time where it would cost like four hours of troop rush to heal your dead garrisons or the 120 troops. Now with 160, uh, especially at higher levels, humans will really be able to benefit from this. Uh, I'm still on the Go Humans page, so uh, yeah, that, that that's huge. You can also set it and forget it. In the shop, uh, item types, uh, quantity, discounts from the shop have been adjusted. This change will go into effect starting with the second batch of new goods delivered to the shop after the update. This right here, I would keep an eye on. Depending on the discounts and things like that, um, this could make a big difference. One thing that I'm hoping changes is like dragging glass. Right now, I think it's like 100 lunari or 150 lunari for two. You can go into the void and spend like 50 void tokens and get 20. It just does not make sense. The only thing that I hope with this, I hope they do not mess with the 30 minute rushes. That's the only thing I buy from the stores. So I hope that they don't increase that. If anything, hopefully they decrease that price. And where this gets really fun is the other updates. So which shops uh, appearing in, in New Realms have, has been adjusted? So uh, what I, I believe what I believe this means right here with the energy set, the dragon set, is under the sets on New Realms, you're not going to have all of them available on day one. Doesn't really change much, to be honest. Uh, but th th that's okay. I also like how now you can view host ministers from the host detail menu. So if you're trying to get into a host and you're waiting for approval, you can now find out who you need to private message and spam their, their inbox uh, in order to get into the house. I'm glad I'm not a minister right now. <laughs> but make sure you spam them hard. Uh, the next one is, now you can view the bonuses granted by a hero skin by tapping, holding the skin preview in the character menu. So sometime I'll show you guys how to get to that, but um, if you hit general, you go to your character, and then you scroll through the different characters, you can see different skins you can get for characters. If you hold down on it, now you can see the bonuses. So, for example, I think the Fire Mage, she doesn't have a bonus. It's purely just for aesthetics. If you hold down Mako, Mako should give like 5% attack or something like that. Bane might give 5% HP. I don't know. After this update, go find out for yourself. Go, go click and hold down. It will save us the trouble from having to ask a player that has the skin in order to know the effect. Uh, so, very happy with this. The last two is probably the two that I'm most excited about. So we have, you can now trade for the new Sage set pieces with uh, the badges of bravery in the black market. So they released the Gladiator set. The Gladiator set is, uh, it has something to do with as uh, time passes in the battle, uh, attack speed and stuff goes up. Um, that makes for a very good set. The Sage set now is all of your skills get plus one. That's pretty solid. So somebody like Rose could really benefit from that. Uh, there's tons of heroes that, that can benefit from it. What I'm getting out of this specific patch update piece is, and, and the big takeaway, hopefully, if there's nothing else you guys get out of this video, I hope it's this. Save your, your, your badges of bravery. There's only going to be a limited amount that, that you get that there's, as, uh, as of right now, there's no fast way to get these. You have to play in Clash of Fate. If you want more, you have to win. So we're, we're kind of set and locked in how many we're going to get. It's going to be a very slow progression. So to get all of these sets is going to take a long time. They came out with the Gladiator. Now they're coming out with the Sage. There's like five more uh, or close to that. The, the, there's a bunch more classes. So instead of just blowing it and getting like a piece here, a piece there, Save up until you have 4,500 badges of bravery and wait until they release all of the sets before you make any purchases. Because we might think that, hey, this save set is super overpowered for right now, but then next week they might come out with a mechanic set that increases Jax's damage by 200%. And 
and that is going to be way better and we're going to kick ourselves in the butt. The other thing that I would like to ask Lilith to do is allow us to exchange those, uh, those items back and get uh, badges. So make an exchange, that way we can test out different sets. Not gonna happen. The last thing is you can now exchange more Dragon Glass and EXP cards um, in the Void Shop at higher levels. So where I'm at in the Void, I have perfected up to 136 in the Void. I have no motivation to continue. I have the 136 crafting, I have the 137 crafting. I really don't need to go any higher. The only benefit would be to open up that new shop. Now that I know I can get more Dragon Glass and more EXP cards, the higher up I go, I really want to unlock that shop. So that gives us a good incentive to keep progressing in the void. And hopefully, uh, for you guys watching these videos and for myself, I too can now level up my heroes all the way. So, if you guys like this content and you want more of this content, Please smash the big thumbs up button, it helps out this tra channel tremendously. Subscribe if you have not subscribed already so I can keep bringing you guys videos every day and you will get notified if and only if you turn on the bell notification. Down below in the link we have a bunch of good things. We have first and foremost our merch shop where you can get amazing t-shirts, highest of quality sweatshirts, you can get custom phone cases for the OGC community. We also have the Patreon page where if you want to become more involved in this and dictate to me the content that, that we put out, sign up for Patreon. It, it's amazing. Uh, and the last thing is we have our uh, OGC community Discord. It is not the official Discord of Art of Conquest, but it is the official OGC community one. So come join the OGC community chat we have so much stuff going on on discord and such a great group of people we would love to have you so as always guys i'll see you guys tomorrow and stay safe in nor